Okay, here's um, a quick video tip for you about using uh, RoboForm for Google Chrome. Now, um, when Google Chrome first came out, they didn't have extensions features and things with it, and RoboForm is a password manager which I use to manage all my passwords for different sites that I go into. Okay, so um, just got the uh, update from Google on their blog saying there was a, a extensions features now out for Chrome. So I jumped over to the Chrome website or the Chrome extensions website and done a search for RoboForm and um, lo and behold there is a RoboForm extension now available for you to go and get for Chrome. So I went and tried it, installed it and it looks like this um, image here, you get a little RoboForm icon that appears in the toolbar there on Google Chrome. Um, it didn't seem to function like it like I thought RoboForm would. I think they're still working on it really, they're making it probably a bit better than what it is or what it, what it is just now and the few comments below just um, show that some guys experience a few problems. So anyway, um, I installed it, I had to play around with it and didn't really see any point of it and then I done a little bit of research and found myself on the RoboForm website. So if I just show you here, um, this is RoboForm and what they've done, RoboForm have built a little extension for Google Chromium. So you get Google Chrome and you get Google Chromium. Okay, Chromium is an open source like developer version of Google Chrome. So these guys can build little extensions and plugins for Google Chromium. So Roboform have gone and done that. Um, what I've done to get to this page is actually just roboform.com forward slash chrome.html. I've done a search on Google and it came up with a suggest, suggested link underneath the, the search results. So I clicked on it for Google Chrome and it brought me to this page. Um, so here we go, just scrolling right down to the bottom. Um, this is exactly what I've done. Um, I installed the latest version of Roboform. Um, I didn't have Chromium installed before, so I just installed Chromium. Um, and then I installed the Chromium adapter. So these are the this is all you need to do. You need to download the latest version of Roboform. If you don't have Chromium installed, I actually didn't install Chromium. I just installed this link here, the Roboform for Chromium.exe. Um, and that's the adapter for Chromium. That went ahead and just got Chromium for me. Okay, so I downloaded these two updates. I shut down all of my browser browsers I had open. I then run the Roboform update. And once that was complete, I then run the um, Roboform for Chromium.exe file update. And it just loaded up a little Chromium sort of a window opens and it just does the install. It sat for a sort of minute um, not, sort of not doing anything at the end. So I just let it be patient, let it just close down completely. The window will go and then you have Chromium installed with the Roboform extension. Okay, now to give you an idea, Chromium looks slightly different. It's exactly the same browser when you're actually using it, but the logo itself is different. So whereas your current Google Chrome logo is the red, yellow, and blue, or green, red, yellow, and green little round circle. I'll show you here how the Chromium one looks. So this is over at the Chromium blog, and as you see, the logo itself is blue. So you can tell the difference between the two browsers. This has got a very blue um, looking color, and the other one's the green, and red, and yellow. Okay, so um, now this is how it looks. I'm quite impressed with this, and I've been having a good play around with it. I'm gonna show you the Chromium browser on a Twitter page. So this is a uh, Chromium here. And as you can see, it looks no different to Google Chrome. It's exactly the same. It's done all the import. It's imported all my bookmarks and things. And if you look down the bottom here, you will see there's a little toolbar that sits across the bottom. It's sort of in the browser, and that is it. That is the RoboForm toolbar, and it's pretty impressive. I like what I'm seeing. Um, it's working well at the moment. Um, I'm going to give it a good test today, I think, and run it through its paces. So I'll just click Fill and Submit and you can see it fills in um, the relevant detail there. It's exactly the same as the um, toolbar for Firefox and hey presto I'm logged into my site uh, or I'm logged into Twitter. So as you can see um, it's pretty functions exactly the same way in as it does in Firefox and it's definitely worth a test. I'm going to be testing it today on everything I can just to see how it works. But finally um, you can now use RoboForm with Google Chromium and, and hopefully this will then be rolled out into Google Chrome or something. But um, if you want to get forget trying it and seeing how it works, um, go over and download it, follow the tutorial here, and give it a go. Okay, I hope that helps some of you.